This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank at home in Iowa at work for you. Welcome back to Panther Sports Talk. The UNI men's basketball team split this week, picking up a road win in the Missouri Valley Conference and losing a, a close match at home in the Bracket Buster against a good Denver team. And Coach, the best part is this winning streak in the Valley continues. And going on the road, Springfield, Missouri, not an easy place to win. And a real nice performance from your team on a Wednesday night. Well, they were Missouri State was five and two at home in league play, and uh, you know they've got a younger team. They're starting a couple of freshmen and playing a, a couple of freshmen off the bench, and uh, but they've done uh, probably. Uh, the most improvement uh, from non-conference to conference play was by Missouri State. Uh, they, uh, they've played well I and mean, they've played teams uh, uh, to close games and they've really played well at home. And to go over there, we got off to a, to a slow start and then got, uh, got our feet under us and played really well. Uh, the, the start of the second half, that first five or six minutes of the second half, we had a lot of things working and got some stuff in transition and executed a couple of half-court plays. And, uh, and then <clears throat> down the stretch, another great performance by AJ. Uh, he, uh, you know, the, the two plays that stand out with the jumper on the midline from 17 feet after the switch, and then uh, the next play when, when he turned the corner and got the layup for us, that minute of play with him getting two baskets was, uh, was really good on his part. And, you know, he did a lot of other things in that game very well, but, but he finished it off for us. And, um, so another, yeah, another good performance. The guys, guys really played well. 69-63 was the final in that one. And the Panthers, you could just tell the momentum, whether it's at home, on the road, those, those road games early on in Valley, your team was struggling. And now it seems like they, they have that confidence, and especially in games that go down to the wire, they're winning those, those road Valley games now. Yeah, and that's and that, huge. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's the biggest part of it, the confidence that the guys are playing with right now. Um, you know, when you're in a situation where you need somebody to, to step forward uh, and finish off a, a game late, and Jake did it here against Creighton. Uh, Bo and Mark and Chip have hit big threes for us when we needed them. AJ did it at Missouri State. Uh, Dion's taking his turn. Seth's taking his turn. So guys are making the kind of plays you need to make right now. And then everybody's going to the line making free throws and getting the ball in late. You know, we had to do it against Creighton. We had to do it against Missouri State. So getting the basketball in, making the right plays, getting it up the floor. Um, Obviously, the foul then going to the free throw line, but but getting it in and making the right play. Right now, the guys uh, are doing a, a good job there, and uh, so we're able to finish off uh, some of those basketball games. And uh, I like what they're doing. You know, I like how they're playing, and I like how we played against Denver. And uh, um, you know, we competed hard and we, and we played well. Uh, we just couldn't get ourselves over the over the hump. Panthers had a six-game winning streak uh, before Denver defeated them at home in the Bracket Buster game. And when you take a look at the Bracket Buster, the Missouri Valley Conference this year did a good job representing the Valley and, and picking up wins against some real tough opponents. Yeah, the uh, uh, you know you, you want to you want to win your home games. You know, for for us, you know, we want it for a lot of reasons. And uh, when, when it comes to this day, and we've got ten games in the league, you, want, you need the home teams to win. And, and we didn't take care of our part. And uh, you know, most disappointed that we didn't. And put another good one in the win column, you know, for ourselves. And uh, um, in saying that, uh, it looks like minimum we're going to have seven wins today, um, and that's and that's a good day. And, and we may, uh, you know, this uh, um, if Illinois State at Utah State, depending on how that one would turn out and how the Drake Green Bay t game turned out, it's going to be six, seven, or eight wins. And that's uh, you know that makes for a, for a good day for our league. Talk about the versatility of having only a couple days prepare for a team that has a unique offense and a scattering report you don't see every other day. Yeah, that uh, um, I think the guys they took it as a challenge. Uh, you know, had some fun with it at practice because it is difficult to prepare for and it can get um, it can really get you tied up mentally. Um, so we tried to keep that our preparation light and I. Um, you know, for the most part, you know, defended them pretty well. You know, they got one back cut in the first half for a layup. They got one in the second half for a layup. At the same time, they threw three or four more that we got a hand on, and we ended up forcing turnovers on. So that part of it was a wash, and we probably got the better better end of that. Where they hurt us was the first half. We were a little bit soft on them, taking away some of their basket cuts, and they made some threes. You know, and getting up 16 to two, it forced them into having to take some threes. You know, they're, they're a good three-point shooting team, so it's not a surprise that they made some. Uh, but we maybe were a little bit too soft on them, and that gave them some threes that that got them back into the game after we had that hot start. Uh, and then our offense, the, the the last 10 minutes of the first half, we stood around too much. I had the guys in the kind of the wrong set, you know, something that we felt like could work for us, um, but we simplified it and got what we wanted to get with a lot simpler 
action in the second half. In the last 20 minutes, our offense was really good. So I, I wish I would have moved to that the last 10 minutes of the first half. I think we could have got 30, 31, 32 points on the board, been tied down one, down two. And then, instead of playing from behind the whole second half, yeah. and then we maybe get the lead, get up three, get up four, and we got a chance to maybe stretch it somewhere in there. Um, so I, I wish I would have done that in the first half. Regardless, Panthers playing well, <laughs> winning six out of their last seven, only one week left of the regular season. Right. Come out Saturday at 7 o'clock when the Panthers host Illinois State and the last chance for a great senior group to be honored here. Yeah, looking forward to preparation and playing on Wednesday. And then when we get back, and these seniors are playing great right now. They've had great careers. Um, and they are playing their best basketball right now. And our team is playing great. I, the loss to Denver isn't going to slow these guys down. They're, they're going to be ready, and we'll play well next week. All right. We'll catch you next week after that Illinois State game, Saturday, 7 o'clock, here in the McLeod Center.